Hey there. Okay, tonight we are doing some stir-fried chicken. Normally you would do this in a wok, but I don't have a wok. So we're just doing it in a pan, or a skillet. Um, and there's a, there's a science doing it in a wok where you scoop things to the side and because the heat is more in the middle and we're going to go with the skillet. So to save us some time and energy tonight, I've already browned up our chicken. Instead of having to go to, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes of browning the chicken, Got that done already. So that was about a pound of chicken breast. You can go a little more than that. And now I'm going to remove it from the pan in the skillet. Just put it on a plate to the side for a moment. We're going to add in the next batch right into this pot. in the veggies, some of the veggies. Okay, chicken removed. Now I'm gonna add actually a little bit more vegetable oil. I'm gonna heat up just a tad to medium high. So about there for the gas. All right, and with that, in go the onions. So about one small yellow onion and a red bell pepper sliced thin into thin slices like that. In those go, we're gonna let those cook in the oil for a couple, two minutes, three minutes. into the oil. Now, you can also see I've made some rice over here, um, some, some uh, fried rice, which is, you can just use regular white rice, but fried rice tends to be the go-to for Asian cooking. So I just use a rice cooker and then I used uh, a packet of fried rice seasoning and follow the directions on that. Pretty simple. <coughs> but you can just use the white rice if you want. So we're going to uh, now add in a little more done here. I have about, uh, about eight ounces of white sliced mushrooms and about four ounces of shiitake mushrooms. That's shiitake. And I'm gonna actually go to the fridge and show you what a shiitake looks like. So that you know the difference. All right, so shiitakes look like this. They're, they're different than the white mushrooms. Um, they've got a little more flavor to them and frequently used in Asian cooking, so. It calls for about four ounces of that and about eight ounces of the white mushrooms sliced up. Hopefully you can hear me over the crackling of the veggies here. All right, so in go now. Our mushrooms. Get those all stirred up. A lot of mushrooms. Again, first time I've made this, so hoping I'm doing it right. Okay, let this go. And then we also have. So it says about one teaspoon, the recipe calls for one teaspoon of freshly grated ginger. I don't have that. So let's go about one fourth if you use the ground ginger. So instead of a teaspoon, I'm using a quarter teaspoon of the ground ginger. Mm. 
you got to mix all that together. And now we're going to let that cook for just a couple minutes, get the mushroom is nice and tender before we go further. Take three or four minutes. See the mushrooms are starting to get a little tender, moist. Just want to have it look like. And it's really loud on the on the uh, sizzling, so hopefully you can still hear me. I'm, or you know, we don't have really state of the art recording stuff here. So okay, now that that's ready, chicken goes back in. that mix up. Now we have about four green onions, which uh, more. green onions are the long skinny ones. The long skinny ones, not the balls. Long skinny ones. So four of those chopped up into inch and a half, two inch chunks. Dump those in. Stir it all together. Tablespoons, tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. You can use regular soy sauce, but I would go low sodium. So one, two, I'm going to turn the heat just a little bit down there. And we got about another two minutes of stirring this around, letting it cook. We'll do that. Away go all my bowls in the sink. <coughs> oh, and I want to add in the, the garlic. So, real quick, this is a garlic, so I didn't dice, I didn't mince up the garlic this time. It's called pressed garlic. So there's a garlic press, and it's used like that. You put it in, and then you just squish it down, press it down. Now, it doesn't want to come off very easily a lot of times, so the easiest thing to do is, because when you press garlic, it's got a lot of oils in it. So it kind of tends to stick. There's actually some inside as well. All right, garlic will go in. all up. That was like three or four cloves of garlic in there. If you 
kind of clump together when it's pressed like that. So you got to make sure you break it up really good. Otherwise, you'll just get one big mouthful of garlic. It sure smells good. All right. We're going to now turn off the heat. Let it sit there for just a minute or two. In the meantime, I will pull out a couple plates. I'm going to grab our rice. about a teaspoon of sesame oil. So, a teaspoon. The last little bit of flavoring there. Mix that all up. Smells good. All right. It'll be easier to use the spoon to get this out. So I'm going to move everything out of the way so I don't make more of this. And stir-fried chicken on fried rice and of course now comes the taste test again first time I've made this who knows it could be a complete disaster it looks really hot so I'm gonna do it a second all right I got some chicken some rice some veggies Mushroom, big mushroom. Mm. Okay, that works. Okay, we have stir fried chicken, fried rice. You can use white rice, that's fine too, brown rice. Just happened to do the fried rice part. And as you can see, pretty quick and simple. After the meat's browned, it's 15 minutes total. So pretty quick. Uh, I think that's it for tonight. So we'll see you next time.